Hey everyone, Vespa here. This video will help you get started dealing with some of the calculations for discrete probability distributions in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so here we have a problem from our homework, problem 3 of 9 in section 5.2. And we have outlined for us a discrete probability distribution uh, that has to do with the likelihood of the number of five children being passed a genetic disorder. Okay, so here is the probability, 0 0.0602, that zero of the children out of five have the genetic disorder. And then as we go, we have the likelihood of one of the children, the likelihood of two of the five children, etc. Right? So the question is find the mean of the random variable x, okay, where the random variable x represents the number of children that inherit the genetic disorder. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to open the data in Excel. So I click on my box and I choose open in Excel. So now I have my data in Excel with all of the possible values of the random variable x along with their associated probabilities. The mean of a discrete random variable x is given by the sum of, that's what this Greek sigma means, right? The sum of each value of x times its associated probability. So I want to create a column now that represents each potential value of x times its associated probability. So I'm going to click in this cell and I'm going to say equals x times its associated probability and hit enter. There we go. There's x times p of x for that row and I'm just going to drag that calculation down for all the rows and this is x times p of x for x equals 1, right? This is x times p of x for x equals 2 and etc. So the formula tells me I would like to sum over those values. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say equals sum of the x times p of x's. And that is the mean of the random variable x. So I've used e of x here, uh, as you'll sometimes see that because the mean of a discrete random variable is sometimes called expected value. Okay, so sometimes you'll see e of x instead of mu of x. But there is the mean of our discrete random variable x. Another thing you'll have to do is calculate the variance of a discrete random variable and then the standard deviation. So notice in this formula I need to sum the values of x squared times the associated probabilities and then subtract from this mu of x squared. Well, again, be aware that I can calculate a column where I'm squaring x and then taking it times the associated probabilities. So all I have to do is click in here and say equals x squared and then multiply by the associated probability. Drag this calculation down and now I have the x squared times p of x for all of the different values of x and I would sum these and then subtract mu of x squared. I'll leave you to go ahead and crank on that for the rest of the calculation.